got a uh, new power steering pump. That's not leaking. Works good now. Um, new master cylinder. Got the brakes bled after snapping a bleeder off on a caliper, of course. But uh, works good now. So I guess I can scratch this one off the list. stairs on this motorhome were damaged uh, it's got retractable stairs with electric motor and I found these stairs <clears throat> the, the two steps were uh, found down in the basement somebody cut them off with a Metabo it was probably stuck out from the accident so we can crawl under here and see there's the stair motor something but anyways we're gonna remove that stair assembly it looks brand new it obviously got replaced um, at some point but uh, we're gonna pull that off and we'll be able to probably fix that all up and uh, that's gonna give me access to get a straight pull from the forklift down underneath here without damaging that motor assembly I'm gonna pull from the back of the stairwell the two vertical tubes we're gonna do a couple pulls and uh, try to move that all forward <clears throat> and because inside here you can see this uh, stairwell got pushed back uh, yeah, it's a little hard to see but it's pushed back here at the bottom I don't know inch and a half two inches and then uh, up at the front here, this carpeted surface needs to go back behind this door frame. So it needs to go that way a couple inches. And uh, if we're lucky, the steel stairwell assembly will all kind of move in one shot. And uh, we won't have to replace it, but if I do, I do. Step assembly out. You see here where somebody sliced off uh, the bent up steps. That actuator arm. This one got sliced off with a Metabo or something also. Got sliced off here. It's uh, pretty bent up. Especially over on this side. Um, but looks like a brand new unit and it was getting power and the motor was working so this shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be too bad to fix so that's giving us better access now to get under here that was mounted right up against this frame here there's the mounting holes <clears throat> So, uh, we got a hook on back here. This vertical tube right here is shoved rearwards, so we need to pull there. And we're going to pull on that tube over there, hook onto both of them, and try to pull this whole step assembly forward. That's a pretty tough pull there. Let's see if that went far enough. Pretty close. 
Oh, still got pressure there. We're going to go a little bit more. See how that does. All right, both chains are loose. I think that's close enough for the moment. It was a pretty good night. I've got the uh, rear portion of the stairwell pulled forward about where it needs to go and the uh, <clears throat> this front corner I got that pulled out even with the side now and uh, it's just about where it needs to go. That was a pretty tough pull. I used two pull cylinders on it and uh, I, think, uh, I think it's about where I want to want to put it. Should get easier from here on out. We'll see. So, uh, this final pull, this beam here was pushed back uh, probably an inch and a half that way. And it was also raised up a little bit too high for this side aluminum side panel of the motorhome to push up against there. So, I pulled down on an angle. And uh, and pulled back and uh, had a pretty good load on it, but uh, previously the door frame you could see these the stairwell this lower section here um, was pushed back quite a ways further than the upper portion and then up front here. Kind of hard to tell, but this uh, door frame, uh, this section here was out past the door frame, and now it's it's back in where it's supposed to be. So looks pretty good. Got some uh, some of the buckled up tile now. Um, I can see it's it's all loose now. It was all crushed tight, so. Uh, we relieve some of that stress, so feel pretty good about it. We'll see what happens tomorrow.